we have any questions? Jonathan Fagan? No, John, what happened in the uh, during that timeout early in the second half when you ended up coming out of the game? No comment. Alexander Johnny? John, you, you guys were um, had a lead early on, were close in that um, first half, and then started the second half, they wanted to run. What happened in that third quarter where the game seemed to get away? Oh, um, just took a lot of bad shots, then execute offensively. And um, with a team like that, they got out in transition. Um, we was running back, they knocked down a lot of threes. And was getting layups, and they started to spend the lead. Brian Bearfield. John, piggybacking off of that, um, what happened on the offensive end uh, for you all? And we see you on station with everybody. Um, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. I feel totally fine. Nothing's wrong. Just went over there to clear my mind a little bit. Alec Kambajani? John, whenever you are um, not past that uh, losing streak, won a game, and now lost a game again, what, what is the mindset that you have and what the team has in terms of how to move forward with this, the season you guys have had so far? Just play basketball. Look at the film and look how we played last game and play the same way. I mean, we're not one of those teams that can start off bad or get off to a slow start or have those points where we have stretches where we can go to a drought. And I mean, we're not at that level of that. So we have to play hard for 48 minutes, missing and making shots. And that gives ourselves the chance to win the game. Jonathan Fagan. Uh, you guys have seemed to be turning a corner, not just winning last game, but playing better for three games, getting guys healthy. To have a setback like tonight, is it maybe more frustrating than even some of the times through the losing streak? No, it's not really frustrating because it, you don't – that got you where you was. You will go back into a drought where you was before. So it's simple. Watch film, understand what we did to win that game, or even be close in certain games, and that'll give ourselves a chance every night. Thank you. Brian Bearfield. John, I've seen you doing a lot of talking on the defensive end to, to your teammates tonight. Are you, uh, now that you all are developing some type of continuity, or are you just trying to make sure that they're in the right positions? Uh, the same I try to do offensively. Uh, just get us in the right positions. Um, tell somebody when they buy themselves one-on-one. Uh, tell them when they should be helping, what type of coverage we should be in. Um, that's what you're supposed to be. Uh, it's a lot difficult being at the point guard on the defensive end because I can't see what's behind me. But whenever I'm on the wing, I try to dictate to tell people where to go. Uh, it's easier on the offense end because I have the ball and I see everything right in front of me. We'll take two more. Mark Berman. John, you've been around the league a long time, so you've been through this. Is there any extra uncertainty because of what this team is going through? Extra uncertainty uh, because the trade deadline is tomorrow, just within the locker room around the players? Um, it's always going to be a tough time with that. You know what I mean? Guys not knowing if they're going to be moved or they're going to play this game or if it's their last game with the team they're with. Uh, it's a part of the business, so, you know what I mean? It's frustrating for a lot of guys in that position. But uh, when the ones that understand what it's a business, they professional through the whole process, you can respect those guys. And, you know what I mean? It's a tough time because if you've been traded once this year and you get traded again or another time in one year, that can be dwelling and frustrating at the same time when you know how much hard work you put into your body, into your game to try to and compete at a, at a high level on any team you're on. Thank you. And last question, Ali Kamba, Johnny. John, you and uh, Christian are the first points of the offense. How do you strike that balance? Wait, did you, sorry, did you hear me? Nah, some noise. Okay, okay sorry, yeah. Um, you and Christian are both the focal points of the offense. How do you strike that balance between both of you in terms of getting yourself, both of yourselves uh, involved with the offense? Uh, that's my job, just trying to find guys and get in the ball. You know what I mean? At times I see mismatches, I attack my mismatch. So I try to get to see where the ball, when he has mismatches, or teams are overhelping on me, you make the right read and pass the ball. So it's not really hard. It's kind of easy. Um, it's just a part of the game. And uh, before I leave, I want to just, uh, give my condolences and prayers uh, to Elger Bay and his family and all the people that went through the shooting that went on in Colorado. Uh, we kind of get lost in what goes on to the world and what's really the real reality. And um, I kind of let it slip the other day because it was on a long win uh, losing streak and we finally got a win. But uh, we can never let whatever really goes on in this real world uh, gets past it. So my condolences and prayers to all those families. Thank you all. Thank you, John.